guess going back to Tokyo, is there any other places or areas in Tokyo is that you that you, like? I know it's like a massive tourist trap, but just go to Golden Guy. It's fun. Golden Guy is good. Don't go into any bars where a guy is telling you to go into a bar. Yeah. Go into bars. That, Shinjuku. There's you know. a lot of really cool places in Shinjuku, but there's also a lot of sketch places in Shinjuku. Yeah. So yeah. you really have to be careful. Again, if someone tells you to go into a bar, don't go into the don't bar. Don't go into a bar. That's just yeah. a rule of thumb. Yep. Uh, there's a bunch of really cool bars. Not in. Not so between and uh, Sanchome. Sanchome, mm -hmm. there's a ton of really cool yeah. bars near, like behind the malls. Re like, yeah, okay, uh, yeah, there's I'd a bunch of really uh, tightly knit areas that have a shit ton of nice bars, and, mm -hmm. and nearly all of them I've been into are pretty damn good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's mostly when when we think of like sketch places in Shinjuku, it's mostly like some parts of Golden Guy and Nichome, mm -hmm. which is like the the gay bar district. Um, I've been to a, a a few gay bars in Nichome, and they're really really fun. But the problem is, a lot of places they won't let you in unless you're going in with someone who they already know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And also a lot of them, I don't <laughs> think are very foreigner friendly either. Oh no, there's quite a lot actually. Oh really? Yeah, there's quite a lot. Okay. I've seen, I've, when I went filming there and I've been there a few, few times, mm. there's a, a lot of bars that are very, very foreign. Oh, okay. Oriented. So okay. If, if you want to experience gay bars in Japan and they are pretty dope, at least the ones I've been to, yeah. then yeah. Uh, go to Nichome. I mean, I think gay bars are just pretty dope in general. Check out the one that I went, like, I, I went yeah. to. It's an anime, any song. Gay bar, an okay. ice on gay bar. So okay. you know, uh, you know, you that sounds fun as fuck. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. All, all the dudes there were just an actual. Well, see, gay bars are like some of the funnest bars you can go to. Oh, I, yeah. I say this as someone who grew up in Brighton, uh, where <laughs> there was a bunch of gay bars. Gay bar and it, like, the UK. Everyone's just like so up for anything, and it's yeah, just like true. it's just it's, it's everyone's a lot of, up for anything. Yeah. Everyone's up for I anything. I can't stay on. <laughs> no, I don't know. Also, they're just a lot of fun. No, know, no, the vibe. No, it's just a good vibe. It's really good bonnie experience if you want to like talk to Japanese people, especially. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, Daikonyama has a good, a bunch of cool bars. Daikonyama, that area. Daikonyama, Daikonyama does have a bunch of cool bars, but they do get a bit costly. Oh, they're yeah. very expensive, yeah. but they're super, super cool. Like there's like breweries in Daikonyama. Oh, the brewery in Daikonyama is really yeah, dope. I don't yeah. think I've been to Daikonyama. Yes, you have gone. Yeah, have you, I? You've been, been you, like, we've been to the brewery you've gone there in Daikonyama. Which yeah. brewery is it again? Is it the Spring Valley yeah, Brewery? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like that's, that's, that's that's Oh, I thought that was Ebis. That, that area has like like every single bar I've been to in that area is sick. Okay, yes, yeah, so I, I I do agree with that. We went then. to the cigar bar in Daikon Yama as well. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Every Sorry. bar in the area I've been to is just awesome. I, I just I just completely blanked on the area name. I was just like, <laughs> that's close to Ebisu. Yeah, you can right? walk yeah, to Ebisu. from Ebisu. Ebisu yeah, is yeah. awesome as well. Yeah. Go to yeah, Ebisu as well. Yeah, basically Ebisu is just south of Shibuya. Yep. Um, it's one stop away, and I say that it's like. I actually prefer Ebisu over uh, Shibuya, even though Shibuya is like the the more famous place to go mm. to because to me Shibuya is just way too crowded. I don't know. That's yeah, no, I get that. But yeah. like, there's also a lot of like really cool places in Shibuya if you know where you're looking. Like, that's true, that's uh, true. You know, a, a lot of like Shibuya is a lot there's like Shinjuku. No Shibuya. Yeah, Shibuya is a lot like Shinjuku where like it is like heavily like infested with a lot of tourist traps, but yeah. also Shibuya is so massive that yeah. if you go to like, you know, like uh, fucking Aoyama, for example, which is like the area on the way towards Harajuku, like right. that place has a lot of like really cool, like mm. hidden stuff around as well. Which And it's not really that far from Shibuya. Yeah. I think like, yeah, one thing I would definitely recommend if you're going to like the big locations is to like kind of try to venture out of the center mm. because there you, you, you do tend to find a lot of really cool hidden stuff that isn't overpriced to shit. Yeah. Uh, and that applies to like, most places in Tokyo. Yeah, exactly. What do you guys think of Ikebukuro? I really like Ikebukuro. Well, I, well there's two sides to Ikebukuro. Two sides. Yeah, sure. Okay, there's I two like sides. I like the east side of Ikebukuro. Okay. The west yeah. side is like very, very, very sketch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, the east is Sunshine City and everything around that area is actually Sunshine pretty sick. City and, uh, yeah. and Otome Road. Yeah, yeah all, that, all that area what, is pretty sick. What I like about Ikebukuro is that you get a little bit of everything. You know, yeah. it's it's it it is kind of like way that. you said that was so memey. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. You do kind of get everybody. You do kind of get a, a little bit of everything. Yeah, if, if you just want to like go to an area and just you want to get some anime, you got Otomo oh, Road. Some there. of their ramen places or anything. Yeah, you got you oh, got yeah. some really really good restaurants, some mm. really really good bars. You got Sun Sunshine City. Um, yeah, and then if you want uh, a lot of like really good like Southeast Asian restaurants and like Indian restaurants, you go to the West Side of Ikebukuro, but it's also very Ooh, scary at West night. West Side yeah. is literally like I don't know what happened. With okay, the divide, yeah, but, like, <laughs> yeah. West dude. Side is like literally just like 
to, lots to, of sketchy places. Yeah, yeah to explain, you, it, you east side and west side, um, you're not going to be able to easily wander from one side to the other because it's literally east side and west side of the station. So yeah. you literally have to go through the station to get to either side, right? Yeah, walk um, and train. it's it's like, it's such a big dichotomy that I don't <laughs> like. It's literally a fucking line that separates one, like <laughs> the bougie side from like the really, really sket side. Yeah. And like, I don't, I, I don't know how like one station can separate like two areas that are just uh, the complete opposite of each other. It's crazy. You're like on the train on the one side, it's like, oh, you can eat. Oh, all this. And the other side, it's like women, 500 yen an hour. Yeah, yeah, fuck, yeah. fuck, sex, sex. Yeah. And it's like, whoa, whoa, yeah, okay. A lot right. of bro- right. There's yeah. a lot of Steady brothels and like, uh, and like uh, host clubs and stuff like that on there, the West there's side. There's gonna be a lot of guys trying to get you into a lot of girls bars. Yeah, and, uh, just stay on the East side. You have a fucking yeah, good time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, east side's good. East side's you got good. a round one, a really big round one. Very big round one. Um, yeah. And sometimes shitty is a ton of malls. Yeah. Oh, it's really, yeah, shops. really good shopping, really good food. Uh, lots of Have anime we explained stuff. What, what round one is? Americans know what round one is. It's an American uh, is chain it? as well, right? I think so, yeah. The round one, it's arcade plus- uh, Bowling. Bowling yeah. plus, uh, fuck, it's, it's got everything. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can live in uh, round one, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, right? It's got, it's got fucking well, everything. What was the place that we filmed a video at, Joey? Um, oh, the, the break room. The break room. Is that in Ikebukuro? Yeah, that's yeah. in East Ikebukuro as well. Yeah, that's in East Ikebukuro. Oh. That's actually like, I want to go back there to I want to go out. back. I've yeah, been so, thinking to do another video. Yeah, though. yeah. So if you've seen the Joey uh, Joey's video with me and him doing the break room, uh, where you get to just break a bunch of shit, They'd have more than that there as well. They have like-, like uh, axe throwing. They, they have axe throwing yeah. there. And uh, what is it now? Like, uh, yeah, the axe throwing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yeah. the axe throwing, there's like a paint area as well. And yeah, stuff like where that. you can like spray paint or, yeah. you know, just- uh, That's a really cool place. That's a nice wall. thing. And you can drink there as well. It's got yeah. a lot of like games there as well. You should also go to uh, Bagus. I love Bagus. 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 Oh. Yeah. Bagus. Just type Amazing. B-A-G-U-S into Google whenever you're here. And I guarantee there'll be one within a walking distance of you if you're in Tokyo. Yeah. And you can play, uh, there's a variety of things. The three staples they have are ping pong, uh, pool, and uh, darts. I actually recently filmed a video at the Ikebukuro Bagus, which I hope it's out by the time this episode is <laughs> out. like the grand one? Yeah, it's the big one on Sunshine Road. Like oh, next okay. to the cinemas. What else can you do in that one? So all, all, some of them have po- golf. Yeah, you can do golf, ping pong, pool, darts. And I think the one in Ikebukuro has the largest selection of manga. Oh, oh yeah. okay. And they also have like uh, they also have like a theater rooms as well. That you can, oh, and you can just like if you like rent out movies uh, mm. from outside of Bagus, yeah. you can't mm-hmm. do it inside the Bagus. But if you go to like a rental place, you can bring in like games and like oh. rental games and like rental movies. Oh, and you can okay. just like have a room to yourself oh. to play games and movies. Also, the darts in Japan is not it's no basic darts. This yeah. shit is like <laughs> cyberpunk darts. <laughs> Like it's like it the is. board is like a score. There's animations and shit. This yeah. thing is so fun. You got to go. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Also, you know, ordering drinks is kind of can be kind of stressful if you don't know any Japanese. Uh, basically, there'll be a phone next to your table. In a lot yeah. of these places. You just oh, call now it. they just have tablets. Do they? Baggers yeah. does. Yeah. Oh, I, I went in the bags the other day. You had to call. Oh really? Some oh. of them you have to call. Oh, yeah, some of them have to call. Yeah. You oh. call up. You just say the name of the drink you want, mm. and then say ichi or, or ni. Yeah. yeah. And just just oh, say th- it very basic. Three phases. Uh, the third, uh, the third, the third phase uh, phrase, sorry, is uh, nama beer, yeah. <laughs> nama beer, yeah. which is just like well, you just the, say nama, draft or beer, just nama, yeah. yeah, which just means like the beer draft on tap beer. or the yeah. draft beer or the draft beer default beer. Um, that's just basically the only drink I ordered when I came to Japan for the first time. <laughs> yeah. oh, it's uh, good. It's decent. Yeah, it's good. Japanese it's very drinks, drinkable. Yeah. I'd say I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's the nicest, but it's just very easy. It to goes down. Easy. It just it's the thing about Japanese beer is that it's just very it's 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 kind of like refreshing, you know what I mean? Mm. Cause I was going to say it's like water, but it's, it, that's, that's not doing it justice. You know, it's just what? very, you know, it's, it's not, it's not American beer. Yeah, you know? it's, it's not, wa- it's, it's like- It's Miller Lite, that's for yeah. sure. It's no, it's no it's Miller Lite. It's not watery, it's just It's just like, refreshing, you know, yeah. cause you could, it's very light mm. without being, without feeling like it's a very cheap beer. It's, mm. How do I, yeah. It's like, it goes it? down really light, but you still get the full taste of the beer. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. It's like some Japanese wizardry happening.